I think we will go into direction uh, into abstraction um, of um, gasless execution. And so, um, you know, from your point of view, what is like the biggest bottleneck when it comes to like stablecoin adoption today? I think there's no bottleneck. Um, so people already speaking about uh, stable tokens, uh, regulation is there as well. So Mika license in Europe, uh, it works already. And adoption is going well from my point of view. And um, I think more people will understand that actually all the payment provider are, like, are not necessarily. So you're just seeing efficiency upon efficiency slowly adoption upon the adoption so i think what is more efficient will be used um, it's normal thing same with internet all the banks institutions and people could use still um, telephone you know to communicate um, but they decided to use internet because it's more in, uh, more more efficient and you you got a huge amount of possibilities without internet uh, I think today we would have some problems. 100%. Um, you know, when it comes back to like swapping, you know, from from chains, from network, what are the biggest pain points today? Is it like gas fees or like the fear of an MEV attack? So in terms of swapping, um, we have kind of um, math problem with math. People still are using, still using uh, DEXs uh, or aggregators uh, in classic manner, so that they do the transaction by themselves and uh, don't use intent-based protocols. Even uh, we have some intent-based protocols. From our point of view, uh, they are not nothing else than a centralized broker dealer. Yeah. Um, in terms of like execution costs, it became better. So in terms of like gas costs uh, for Ethereum on Ethereum blockchain, sometimes in chance, but for most of the cases it's not that expensive, and uh, it works also without uh, Ethereum. You know, like intent-based protocol supports like one-inch swaps uh, supports gasless by design, but by default, signed by default. So 